What is good YouTube? Today I'm going to be going over AMC and GME stock and why I'm more bullish now than ever. But before I do get into why I'm so bullish on these two stocks, make sure to go down and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because I do update you guys on AMC and GME stock every single day. So today was a bloody day in the whole market amc was down four percent and there was over nine million shares traded it did close at four dollars and 63 cents towards the end of the day there was just a bunch of red candles and yeah it just dropped all the way down to 463 in the morning it was trading at 485 just came crashing down and i really do believe this is a buying opportunity now none of this is financial advice i'm not telling anyone to buy sell or hold me personally i am looking at picking up a couple more shares at this price because i really do think it is getting ready to make a reversal if we zoom out we could see here it got a wick back to 462 463 right here now we're back here at this bottom it's looking like a triple bottom and it can just bounce right back up i wouldn't doubt it if it does bounce back up tomorrow because we've already seen this move from gamestop it hit this low back here right here then it bounced right back up same exact thing is happening with AMC. Now, this is just my prediction. Obviously, I could be wrong. Anything could freaking happen. But the whole stock market was red today. So I don't think it's a big deal that AMC was down 4% today. It's not that crazy. Now, if we were to drop below $4, I would be pretty worried. I'm not going to lie. But I really don't believe that is going to happen. I mean, the only signals that we have long term for AMC stock are bullish. As for GameStop, though, it was down 1% today. It closed at $23.14. And it was green for a while it did hit a high of $24.69 and the volume is still pretty high right now over 11 million shares traded so the past couple of trading days the volume has been picking up for GameStop and once we do get an explosive move we can see this stock go absolutely parabolic back past $50 I wouldn't doubt it if this is the beginning of the third run i mean we were just trading at 19 dollars 1970 and now we're trading at 23 dollars with these so as you can see right here gamestop did have this fall right here back to below 20 dollars just like AMC's having this fall right now. It's a little delayed. When GameStop started to run back in May, AMC didn't follow until a couple of trading days later, about three or four trading days later. So I am expecting AMC to pop back up this week. I did make this post on Twitter. So if you haven't followed me on X, make sure to go follow me there. My username is Mikey's underscore money. I said, AMC, keep crying about the price. I'll keep buying. This isn't a get rich quick scheme. This is a buying opportunity because we already know what the future holds for AMC. I'm all in. So if we take a look at the weekly indicators, this is long term. Right now, if we take a look at the short term, there is some bearish indicators. But long term, it's only bullish. So first we got this head and shoulder bottom. It says long term bullish with a target price of $12.75 all the way to $14. That's almost a 2 100% gain, over a 200% gain from where we're trading at right now. So just for Weeble to be predicting over a 200% gain by the end of this year is pretty crazy to see. Now the other indicator that we have is a megaphone bottom and this target price is from 10 to $11. Over a 100% gain is pretty crazy. So the only indicators right now long term is bullish. That's why I'm saying right now is definitely a buying opportunity, in my opinion. But you guys do your own research. It's not news that the box office is recovering. This is something that has been known. And now that AMC has pushed its debt all the way to 2029 and 2030, it just gives it so much time to recover and become profitable once again. This guy said, I just spent a little time updating box office numbers from the Labor Day weekend. Holy cow. Wall Street could not be more wrong on consensus forecasts and I'm going to shame them again. Starting to think that we have a puncher's chance at reaching $100 million at the bottom line for AMC earnings this quarter. I'm not saying we will, I'm saying there's a chance. And a strong chance at realizing cash flows above the nine digit mark, chance being the keyword again. So obviously it's not guaranteed going to happen, but this quarter is looking extremely good. I mean, the Usher film is coming out next week. We got Beetlejuice about to come out. It's about to pop off at the box office and Q3 can possibly be the best Q3 in history. This guy said, regardless, while Wall Street has a loss forecast on the quarter, I've said for a year that this quarter would set new ape era records for AMC. Reaching nine digits would be beyond what I'd seen. I had thought 65 to 85 million. Wall Street has not acknowledged the new world we are in. This is the definition of deep effing values. So Wall Street is predicting that it's going to be a bad quarter at the box office for AMC. They're not going to be profitable. They think that Q3 is going to be terrible. And that's what they have predicted. And they can be extremely, extremely wrong. 
I mean, we still got a couple weeks left in Q3, and it's already made over two billion dollars at the box office. We're looking at almost three billion with what's coming out, the Usher film, you know, Beetlejuice coming out. It's gonna be huge at the box office. Like I said, Q3 can be amazing. Not only that, but there's so many new movies, blockbuster movies, set to release over the next couple of years. I mean, it's gonna be endless and it's gonna be exponential at the box office. So I think AMC just trading at an all-time low has presented a huge opportunity. This guy said new fund holds 4.7 billion GME shares. Glitches everywhere. So they're saying that it's a glitch, but the same fund also supposedly is holding 15 billion shares of AMC. So this guy said nearly 15 billion shares of AMC reported on Morningstar when only 320 million should exist. Another glitch, why do all these glitches happen on AMC as well as GameStop? So there's a glitch going on showing that these sick bastards are holding 15 billion shares of AMC, almost 5 billion shares of GameStop. It doesn't freaking make sense. These are definitely the two most manipulated stocks in the stock market simply because this is what retail likes to invest in. This is what the majority of retail investors buy. You know, when we compare AMC to Sinmark, the only difference between AMC and Sinmark is that Sinmark is owned by institutions. Retail investors don't really invest in Sinmark. They invest in AMC though. That's why AMC is crashing while Sinmark is just going up at all time highs. It doesn't make sense. They're both the same business model. Sinmark is in debt as well. So just make it make sense. It really doesn't. This guy said, just came through my trade desk at market close. Another order imbalance on GME. So there was a New York Stock Exchange order imbalance, 73,000 shares on the buy side for GameStop. The on balance volume is at all time highs right now for GameStop and AMC. It is foreshadowing that there is going to be a huge spike in price. Now, obviously, I can't tell you guys when. That's why buying options right now is extremely risky. I would definitely stick to buying shares, loading up shares at these dirt cheap prices. They want us to doubt our investment, they want us to sell at this price, but they are anticipating another huge spike. That's why institutions are buying into GameStop. That's why institutions are buying into AMC right now because they're anticipating a huge move. That is simply what it is. But you guys do whatever you want with your money. You guys do your own research before investing into any stock. You guys already know, I am all in on AMC stock. But that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did make it to the end of the video and you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you guys doing? Make sure to go down and subscribe. Today was just a bloody day throughout the whole market. AMC being down 4% definitely does present an opportunity. I think it is a buying opportunity and I think it is going to bounce back this week. GameStop was going down for days and days while AMC was chilling at $5. Now AMC is following what GameStop did. It's going down, 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 and it's going to have the spike up just like GameStop did. That is what I think is going to happen. I could be completely wrong. But yeah, that's just my prediction. But I will keep you guys updated on what happens with AMC and GME stocks. So make sure to stay tuned on my channel. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. As you all know, I'm buying the dip. Here we go. Come on. Push it. Buy the dip. Buy the dip. Here we go. Come on. Push it. Buy